Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Anna 2205. Just finished up that uh, naval combat mission. I actually had to do it again because the game decided not to save or something. I'm not entirely sure. But let's take a look at our next mission. So, a direct line to space. Finalize your space elevator, upgrade at your spaceport. Enter Warwick Brayson. We have the graphine. That's that was that's uh, that's what was on the ship that we uh, rescued last time, I believe. Select the spaceport and finalize the upgrade. Let's go ahead and load up down here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. And they, my stupid, the controls keep resetting. They're not saving, so I'm back on the arrow keys instead of WSD. Whatever, I guess we'll just accept it. Okay, we gotta select the spaceport and finalize the upgrade. Uh, I believe that's right there. Firmly attached. Ooh! Elevator car ready for departure. Attention. Look at it go. Approaching Global Union Space Station. Prepare for that was way faster than it would be in real life. It would take hours. If not if if not days to get up there. It would take a very, 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 very long time. Alright. Congratulations. So we're here. First step into space. Woohoo! Made All it to space. The global economy are now accessible for you. I don't know what purviews means. Program starts now. I'm way too Hell old yeah. for adventures like that. Gotta pass next time. So you better make sure you got a decent battle fleet. Stop by the dockyard if you want any ships built or revamped on that. Consumer analyses show unfulfilled demand. For Sounds good, demands. dude. Okay, uh, before we go on to the next mission, let's deal with our people down. So we're low on organic food, low on water, so we should probably go ahead and build ourselves... Another desalinization plant. Let's see if we can find another coastal region on which to build. There's one way up there. Ha ha! There we are. Going to connect that up with our little roadie, roadie dealy here. I guess that works. Don't really like the, the direct look of that, but hey, I'll get over it. Uh, it said we're low on organic food as well. Because we do only have these two of these rice factories, so I guess, or rice farms. Not really a factory. So we go ahead and plop down another one. Okay, that should help. Looking pretty good right now. We have over a thousand employees. Still have a good bit. We have more money than we started with, actually, which is bloody fantastic. Why did I say bloody? I don't say bloody. Anyway, uh, 32 iridium, 16 graphine, 95 biopolymer. Someone pointed out that I kept calling this bioplastic. I'm sorry, planet base is just ingrained in my head. It's just. It's in there, especially after Attention. doing what? Almost 30 episodes of Planet Base. Low on logistics, okay, fine. Uh, we're, we put only one of these things down before. I don't remember where we put it. Uh, it's looking. Okay, fine, we'll just put that there. We'll get ourselves a de another desalinization plant. Okay, this should help with the logistics. Uh, production's only at 71%. Goods inputs. Uh, we could increase our f fruit. Hmm. All right. Time to make some improvements. Uh, General Rafferty recommends you upgrade. No. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out first. We're still low on logistics. Okay, fine. Shall we build some more? All these areas are blocked. Wish I could form the land a little better. There. Uh, that should help with their demands. Oh! This one had the logistics. This one is... Um... Goods. Okay, so we need... Okay, let's do this. Let's get uh, another road going through here. We'll just kind of wrap it around here. And we'll go ahead and get another sunflower farm. Flip that there. And what's the... I think, okay, the vegetables. So that's going to be under operators. There we go. Okay, that should help with the good income there. Sorry, the good inputs to make those items. Everything's looking good. Let's see. Factory upgrades. Okay. Select a factory and spend graphine to build a production module. Okay, so we'll select this one. Uh, just 
Okay, so yeah, this is what I, I was talking about this a little earlier. I did see a developer video of the game before it came out talking about these modulars or modular systems. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this uh, fruit plantation here. Here are the modules. Uh, we can build a fruit orchard, a drone hive, uh, accumulator units, or storage depot. So basically, this will increase productivity and maintenance costs. This will increase. Uh, this will decrease workforce maintenance. So I think it'll become a little more automated and need fewer people to operate it, which will free up uh, my population to do other tasks and whatnot. The accumulator units uh, will look. Okay, so we'll make it a little more energy efficient. And the storage depot will... Uh, let's do that, since we were running a bit low. Let's, let's build some of those. Oh, those actually cost iridium. No, it wants me to spend graphite. These all cost iridium. Okay, this one costs graphite. Okay. Oh, there's no room. Okay, so that's quite a bit larger. Uh, so really, okay, yeah. I don't really have any... Factories were oh maybe this one. Uh this one costs graphine. Okay, there we go. Give it a try. Ooh, that makes it much bigger. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so it's probably a bit more efficient than simply uh building new ones. It probably uh, costs quite a bit less. But I think graphine graphene graphine, I think that's the resource that we can't actually get, because we're getting cobalt. And feldspar, or sorry, from the feldspar core we get what the hell is this stuff? I forget. Nano ceramics, iridium, and graphite. I think we can actually make mainly obtained by completing assignments and crisis sector missions. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing with iridium. So we got to be a little stingy with that since we can't really uh, get any more of it. Have you finished? Did we ever do this mission? Oh, I completely forgot about the assignment. Okay. Oh, we need 300 people. Did we not do that? What can I say? Hmm. It's just amazing here. Okay, I guess we didn't keep enough workers around here. Okay, well, let's try and complete this, shall we? Let's go ahead and patch that up. Do they not have to be attached to roads? Oh, okay, they do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go ahead and delete these. Yeah, let's just go through all these. Okay. Build mode or destroy mode is off. Nope, don't do that. I'm trying to remember the keys. Okay, there we go. It, it, it put the keys back. Yeah, I know. Nope, jeez. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, I guess we'll just wind this road through. Yeah, it's not looking super great, but we don't want we don't want stuff everywhere, right? We want to make it look a little nicer. Okay. Uh, hopefully uh, that's not going to be enough. Let's just line this road, I suppose. Just keep the workers up here. Okay, because I'm trying to complete this mission, but I do need 300 workers. I need to maintain 300 workers for four minutes, or five minutes. Okay, stop building that, thank you. Okay, multiple sectors, blah, 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 da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, well, let's see how we're doing. Almost there. This will give us a thousand energy in the sector, though, so I really think this would be worth doing. Because if we get that damn work in, our energy is going to be crazy. Because right now our power plants are only producing 548. And that's with all these wind turbines. We got like one there, one there, one there. And I think we have one out on the sea. No, a desalinization plant. Yeah, tidal power station. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Not, still not quite a 300 people. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out here. One, two, three, four, okay. That way we can put some more here. Oh, I put a space in between. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> My bad. Oh, it's okay. We'll just leave that there. <laughs> go ahead and connect these up. Did I really say oopsie daisy? Not even ironically, like I just picked a whole bushel of oopsie daisies. 
Oh yeah, so that'll bring us well over 300 workers. Hopefully we can keep that going for the next four or so minutes. Okay. Uh, next step, the, we need to go to the Arctic region. The Arctic holds resources found nowhere else. You should consider a branch there. Okay, enter Arctic region. Open a strategy map menu. In the Arctic, Whoop. all your actions will fall under the supervision of the Arctic custodians. Let's have a look at their territory. It was a diplomatic okay. feat to make the custodians open their lands for private corporations. So your choice of location is somewhat limited. Oh yeah, starting sector, Akia Flows, Ikuma Glacier, or King Gate Proctorate. Hmm, it said there are resources here that aren't anywhere else, so I'm thinking the mountain building sites will be very useful, like we want to have a good number of those. I'm not sure on that fact, I haven't actually gotten to this part of the game yet, so don't quote me on this, but that makes sense in my mind. So this one has 14 mountain building sites, this one has 15, this one only has 11. Please yeah. direct your attention so this one seems like a, like a good middle ground. Of the Lunar Licensing Program, you are now authorized to enter the Arctic region and access its deposits of rare resources to implement new means of galactic travel. Your official contact person will give you more information. I should hope so. Yes. Thank you very much, Adam. Come on, I want to go to the moon. Actually, I've heard it's very difficult. Let's set it. The moon is quite hard. I haven't been watching his videos because I'm trying to just uh, learn by doing in the game. To the custodian's climate stabilization technology. I'm Dr. Howard Young. I speak for the Arctic Custodians. First, allow me to be clear. We expect you to more like Howard old at all times. <laughs> the Arctic ecosystem. I don't know. He looks like middle aged. Respect these rules and we'll get along just fine. What do they just have a big air conditioner out there? Is that how they're maintaining the Arctic ecosystem? If you're looking to test your OK, hey, look, it's our carrot. My data indicates there's no time like the present. Not exactly a warm Okay, welcome, mysterious woman. Let's just proceed with phase two. Interesting. We need Arctic resources for rocket construction, so we have to establish a base of operations on one of these islands. Set up your new location wherever you want. All of the islands are suitable. I hope Ooh, I get to pick you. a location. Let's take a look, oh, shall we? Time to make some I'm assuming this big old island would probably be best. Okay, claiming construction zone, use a command ship to build uh, warehouses and complete assignments from the trading post. Click on a mini map to focus camera on location. Use tap to select your command ship. Uh, right click to move. Every island has a single warehouse building site. Okay, yeah, so we have to pick a warehouse building site on each of the islands. Um, I probably just want to go to like the big one in the middle, right? Yeah. Sorry, my <laughs> I mean, it has the most land. Billy Jorgensen, nice <laughs> to meet you. Cold shoulder. I run a trading post here, but business, yeah, just consider dropping by, okay? If you build a distribution Sounds good. I like him. I can officially sign the island over to you. Oh, oh, oh. With the acquisition of this Okay, new building available in the again following rights for this uh, area. Do, do, do. The Arctic custodians will watch you like a hawk from now on. Their directives are strict, but you should adhere to them while building up your basic infrastructure. The heating standards alone will be a challenge. Hmm. Okay, start on our next little base here. Uh, quest 8, whatever. Attract a population of protectors in the Arctic region. We need 25 of whatever a protector is. Build and connect Arctic dwellings. Settle your employees. Close to heat source. Produce canned food. Produce metal foam. Okay, so I think each of the regions has their own resources and... Um, like food sources and whatnot. Ooh! Look at the seals! <gasps> look at the seals. Those are awesome. I see you go, um, went boating a couple times with my uncle. He has a boat. He lives up near Seattle. And he he hates seals. He calls them bastards because they always steal his fish. So they yell at him, like, get out of here, you bastard seals. <laughs> Anecdotes. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, so we're going to start with our little road here. I guess we'll just kind of place it around. 
Oh, it's already there. Oh, those are the roads. Okay. I thought it was like telling me to place it there, but that's already a road. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we can just start expanding up to this direction. And out here just a bit. Okay, and then we can get the protector homes. Oh. So is this red area... The he are these the heat sources? Interesting. Okay, so if, if that's so, I'm, I want to go ahead and move this road. Build those guys there. Accounts Connect them up with the road. Anything to complain about. It's cold out there, isn't it? Come in. I I think that's what that is. I'm I'm just assuming here. Uh, let's see what else can we build. We can build a uh, aluminium mine, <laughs> aluminum mine, a compression chamber, a fishing harbor, and cannery. Okay. Attention. How do we make heat sources though? Transportation center. Specific consumer goods. One vitamin Attention. drinks. Jeez, yeah, I know, man. Okay, if I have to build them in this red ring. Oh, okay, there it is. Duh, it's under the tutorial. Okay. Uh, heat is given off in a radius. The more accurately you place your factories, the more homes can be placed in that radius. Every sector contains a trading post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relocate the demolish. Okay. Oh, hi. So what brings you here today? So I don't think it's necessary. Let's try this. I don't think it's 100% necessary for them to be in the radius. But I think it helps. You don't have to be crazy to work here, but it helps. We'll test that theory out right now, I suppose. Post haste. Employees are freezing. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're freezing. I guess we do need that. Fusion Harbor. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and. Yeah, so the factories actually produce heat. So that's good to know. Oh, I don't like that road there. It's about there. Okay. So within the radius. Okay, so it's good to build. Christ coastal building sites. Do all these need coastal building sites? No, this one doesn't. Your production facilities give off enough so let's build that there. Settlement, but without insulation the cannery there. The would evaporate. Um, oh, we're missing three of these. We need metal foam. And that's going to be produced here. Okay, so it inputs uh, da, 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 the aluminum, and that turns that into metal foam. As as it stays like this. Okay, yeah, so these guys are going to be freezing. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's something that's going to uh, really switch up the layout of my city. Hmm. Speaking of which, this is bugging me. Okay, don't panic, guys. I'm working on it. Nope, I already messed it up. I already messed it up. I just, I just, I just want to build roads so that are nice and lined up, you know. Okay. I hope you've read our building regulations. Ooh, we can build a fishery right here, can we? Oh, that's almost warming them up. Uh, maybe we should go ahead. Oh, the connected up with the road. Okay, so maybe we should go ahead and delete the houses that are currently freezing. For specific commodities. Why are you freezing? You're almost in this zone. Fine, okay. We'll delete you, delete you, delete you. I oh, will see if we can just slap down a factory right in the middle there. Now, where did I get a pressing chamber? A cannery. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to have to mix up our housing uh, quite a bit more now. still find it in harvestable quantities. Yeah, this is going to look really bad, because I'm going to have to place these houses basically surrounding every sort of factory, so they'll actually heat up and 
uh, everyone will immediately freeze to death. Because I've heard freezing to death is not quite, is not very super pleasant. Okay. Trying to population to protect his Arctic region. There we go. Well Done. You are permitted to continue the expansion of your spaceport within reasonable limits. Well, that's within exactly what's on the agenda you right now. Bitch. The orbital watch is still threatening the Union trade routes. You have to establish your own shipping docks at the spaceport. Neat. Okay, well, that's a new thing, breaking the ice. Pun intended, am I right? <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Uh, start the upgraded spaceport in Ukuma Glacier uh, with uh, icebreaker docks, track thir or 50 uh, protectors, and produce metal foam, which we're already kind of doing. We're ahead of the game, lady. Quit living in the past. Well, that's it for this time, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and want to see more. What is this game? Anno 2205 in the future. I'll see you next time. Mm, almost burped. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patron supporters, Burt Macklin FBI, Click, The New Warden, Deepay, Josh P, Roland, Alexander S, Cameron W, and Adam Gast. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.